What's up, guys? That's... Blurp the first second. Let's do it again. What's up, guys? I ride 705 here. Um, it's uh, that time of year we're putting a boat away. Got the top off it. I'm in the engine room, so I just gave her a little shampoo and clean up. These are uh, 5 liter V8s. And I'm going to show you how I winterize my boat every year. And that way, there, maybe you can do it yourself. Um, just pulled it out of the water. I haven't done anything to it yet. So the first things uh, that you need to do, um, if you do it the way I do it, there's, there's some people that run antifreeze through the drive. So what you'll do is you'll put the muffs on your drive with the hose, fire up your engine until it warms up. After that happens, you want the, the engine warmed up, that way the thermostat's open. After that, you can put antifreeze and run it through the whole system. And then when it comes out, you need to test how, uh, how concentrated it is so you know that you're good for minus 30, minus 40, whatever it is. I don't like doing it that way. Um, so I'll show you how I do it. Underneath the manifolds, two of these here, there's these little plugs. I'm gonna pull those out. Now water is draining out of there now. And that's a great sign. Sometimes those are plugged up with rust. So you wanna grab a little poking stick and poke around, make sure that it's clear and that it completely drains out. So even when it stops, you just get a few pokes, that way there you know there, there's nothing that plugged it up. And there's one on the other manifold as well, right here, and do the same thing there. Let them drain. Um, my engine has, uh, or my boat has two engines, so I'm gonna, while I'm at it, I'll do this one. The little plastic plugs, there should be a little rubber O-ring on them. So make sure that the O-ring's there. Yeah, let's crawl in here. Oh. In the dark. I should have both hatches open right now. That makes a lot of sense. Drain that one too. Alright, so those are done. Now, also, on the block, Right about in the middle, like right in the middle of the manifold, if you look down, there's a little plug there as well. A little brass, it could be plastic as well. Um, you're going to want to drain those, and there's one in, on each side of the block. And that's going to drain the water out of the block. Now once the water's all drained out of there, we'll, we'll reinstall those, but for now, let's do that. I do not remember what size they were. Try 10 mil. Oh, it's... Bigger than 10 mil. So we'll put me to 7 sixteenths, I believe. Yes. Okay. So mine happened to be 7 sixteenths. Let's see if I could find that in a small drive. 7 sixteenths. Sorry about the shakiness, guys. I'm trying to do this with one hand again. Alright, so we're just going to take that little plug. My my plugs actually have a little brass plug inside of a bigger brass plug, but I'm just taking the center one out. It doesn't really matter. And there she drains. It's draining good. We're in fresh water here, so we don't get a lot of rust. But uh, not to say that, that it's not normal. I mean, you can... It is definitely uh, common to have those plugged up a little bit. I've had it happen year to year. All right, located my other one, all the way down here. The, uh, when you bring a boat this size to a marina, they charge, that one there is barely draining. It's just trickling. So for that, you definitely want to get your little poking stick. I'm just using the inside of a pen because I didn't have anything there. And it was poke, 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 and there it goes. See the difference how much that's flowing? And that's what you want. You want it to actually pour out completely and not just get plugged up with sediment. And this one's still draining. Quite a bit of water in here. And you can see actually the, the rust that came out of there. Dirtying up my bilges all over again. All right, so we're gonna let that drain for a little bit, and I'm gonna do the other engine, and then uh, we'll move on to step number a dose. 
All right, guys, it's been about two, three minutes. Um, both engines have all the plugs out of them and they're drained. I'm gonna go back with my little poking stick just to make sure and poke that hole, poke the hole on here, just to make sure that they're clear. I'm almost 100% sure they are, but just being extra careful. I don't want a pile of water in there. That would ruin my plans of how I'm gonna do this. And so far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, next step is, uh, it's pretty simple. I make sure these are clean. Like sometimes there's a bunch of dirt that gets in there, uh, rust really. Um, it's not very important that you clean it out. It's just that when you want to re-thread it, I just don't want any rust to get caught on the threads. You can see there's some sort of a sealant that was on here before. These are Piper threads. They're uh, 1 8 NPT. So I, I don't actually bother putting thread sealant. I've never had one leak. And it's not a big deal if it did drip. The worst we do is just get water in your bilges, so which is not good either, but it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna put these back in, and then uh, I'll put the camera down to do that. It's pretty simple, and then I'll show you uh, our next step. Do we don't you? All right, guys, we're on to pretty much the final step here. Um, so we drain the blocks, drain the manifolds, make sure they're actually drained, poke the little holes, make sure there's no rust plug in them. Everything's completely drained now. Put the plugs back in. And now we're going to uh, put antifreeze in here. So what I do is I take all these hoses off here. I got uh, five of them on mine. And I dump antifreeze into them. And that basically puts antifreeze through the block, through the manifolds, through everything. And it'll actually pour out the back of the boat after. Um, you don't want to go cheap on this. Uh, antifreeze doesn't cost much. Uh, engines do. So don't be shy with the antifreeze. Don't try to make a bucket do your whole engine. I use uh, probably about four... Four pails like this per engine. So it cost me about, I don't know, 12 bucks an engine in antifreeze. Uh, and like I said, it, there's no point in, in being shy with that. So for these here, I like to use a socket instead of a flathead screwdriver because that's just bullshit. And we're gonna take those off. They're a bit stubborn to get off. Every year it's, they're down they're, they're, and it's seized on there real good, but. Loosen these off. Really hard to do with one hand. All right. So make sure these are actually loose. Like you should be able to slide them over the hose. Because there's kind of like a little bump here. It's got to go over. And if your clamp's fighting you, that's not helping your cause. It doesn't take too long to do your engines. It's not a big deal. I already did the water system in the boat. I didn't go over that because uh, that's kind of unique for every boat. It's very similar, but it's... Uh... Try, try to hold on to this thing here. Oh, damn. There we go. It might be a little bit rooked. There you fall on. Don't have any assistant, assistant cameraman today. I'm all by myself. All right, so we got all our hose clamps off. So now to start doing the wiggle wiggle. So you grab your hose. Usually, if you get reef on it, you can break that seal and gonna come off. So you can see that I snapped that off. Now I'm gonna need two hands to pull this off. But oh, maybe not. There you go. So we're gonna do that for all these hoses, take them all off. And it's, you can't mix them up. I mean, they're they're bent and formed for the spot they're going. And we're gonna fill these full of antifreeze. Uh, I'm gonna need my two hands to fill them full of antifreeze, so I'm not gonna videotape that. But basically, uh, there's like five hoses there. You'll see some of them when you fill them up, they'll actually fill up and you can't put any more. Uh, at that point there, you're good, obviously. Other ones, um, I believe will drain forever. I believe the manifold ones, you can keep dumping antifreeze all you want, it just ends up going down out of the boat and dumping out of the boat. So once that starts and pink stuff's coming out of the back of your boat, you might as well stop because you're just wasting your, uh, your antifreeze. So. All right, guys, I found an assistant to help me hold the camera while I uh, do the antifreeze. I got four jugs like this per engine lined up. 
Um, I always put my antifreeze laid out in front of my engine. That way there I can remember how much antifreeze or how much I put in there. I don't want to question myself on whether or not I use it all. So here you go. that pouring outside, I believe. You're going to want to pay attention to which hose you're actually doing again, not to mix them up and forget one, because you don't want to do that. It would be all bad. for this but I thought it'd be good if I spill a little bit. There you go. It's actually pouring out of here. Change the technique there. Fill these up till this pours, till it comes right out of these two hoses. As I'm filling that. jug. And that one's full. It's actually, like, like I say, if you fill, keep filling it, you're going to see it over full. So we'll dump the rest in here. That's it, that's how I do it. I've been doing this for, I think 10 years now, and we are up north in Canada, where it's minus, uh, minus 30, very common, and occasionally minus 40. So far, so good. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the other engine, and uh, put my hoses back on for next year. When I fire it up in the spring, I always go back and check, make sure I have no leaks where my clamps are, and uh, yeah, that's how it's done.